You're a shining star. No matter who you are. Uh, let's go. All right, so this is one of my favorite segments. Spotlight Shining Stars is actually a segment. Turn your chairs around. That we, yeah, you can come right here. So Spotlight Shining Stars is a segment that we do, and we love to uh, spotlight people to do something amazing in the community. Big, small, rich, poor, fat, tall. We, it doesn't matter as long as it's something great. And this week, this is actually uh, my favorite segment, actually, because, because sometimes justice is up to just us. I love it. Right? Am I saying it? Carmen? It looks like Charmin. Charm Charmin? Yeah, Charm Charmaine. 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 Charmaine Davis, a who? Psychological. A psychotherapist. Psychotherapist in California created an app called Just Us. Just Us, which comes from the word justice to help black drivers when they get pulled over by police officers. The app was, was created with her own black son in mind. I. That's a given. As he is getting ready to get his driver's license. Now, why should we be paranoid as black people just because we getting ready to get our children in the stage of driving and we got to teach fear to them? And da -da -da. So anyway, this mm -hmm. is good. This is why this app is good. The app has, has a check-in feature, which sends, his, sends you emergency contacts, um, your current location. Okay, it sends emergency contacts to your current location. Right. The heads up feature notifies your contacts when you've been pulled over, sends them your current location, starts live streaming. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yep, I love it. The last feature is the help feature, which starts live streaming immediately and notifies anyone with the app within three miles of your location, letting them know you need assistance. I love it. I love it. This is smart. I Download love it. the app today in the app store just us. Just us. Just us. Because sometimes app store. justice. And follow the IG, the Just Us app. Or yes. the Justice. I app. love it. Just us. Just us. So it's just us on um, IG and all that. Right? I love it. Yep. I love that. That's a brilliant idea. It's sad that we have to have those type of things amongst our community. Because I don't think white people and other than us are sitting around in their home uh, looking for apps they not. to tell their children what to say to the police officers and how to conduct themselves. And they don't have to do all those kind of They're things. Not. So we need to get to where we don't have to do that as well. So I'm not cool with that. We're going to have to use this app temporarily. Let's just say that. Yeah. And it is a good idea because we do need to help. It is. We need to help right now. And so I have a black son. And so when he's driving, I'm going to want him to have the app. And as soon as you see the sirens, you push the app. And then you notify your five emergency contacts that I'm being pulled over. I nah, love just it. Just call me. We come through there. So this this the thing I want to say, though, about the whole situation. Why do we make it safe for police officers to come into the community and kill our children um, and do the things they do to our children, stand there and wait for assistance, hours sometimes, alone, in our community, and they stand over our dead children and we got gang bangers, Crips, Bloods, Vice Lords, GDs. I'm not telling you what you should do, but you kill each other every day in our community. And you banging hard, and I know it. And we've been doing this for years. But the police officer come, and he spray out 14, 13, 12-year-olds. And he gets and to he walk home. And he sits there, and he waits for his other officers. And at that point, he's a gang banger. And we treat him like an officer. He's always been an oppressor. Not all officers, but a lot of them. And so we got to recognize the difference. Oppressors need to be treated as oppressors. This is my opinion. I'm with you on that, baby. I stand with Stop you. Stop being so damn soft, Negroes. That's right. We got to stand with up. You. Stand up. Well, we have to get ready to go to a quick commercial break, and then we'll come back with some spotlight news. We got a lot of news for y'all. Yes, we do. It's a lot going on, you guys. Hold on to your seat. We'll be right back. Spotlight over the city.